Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for the very positive uh, feedback and reinforcement uh, to do this AI and ML video series. So I decided to do it. Uh, this is, I guess, the first official video of it. Uh, we have a name for it. We're calling it Code to Care, um, the AI ML Revolution Unveiled. Um, and uh, you also gave all kinds of good uh, input into what I should talk about. And I would categorize it into three topics. So one is kind of how AI ML works, how certain things work in it. The second topic is use cases. You wanted to hear what other people are doing and what's working, what's not working in the market. Uh, and the third is you wanted to hear about kind of ethics, validation, safety, risks, you know, that whole, um, uh, that whole uh, space. And in fact, uh, recently we've had uh, uh, in the U.S. the White House uh, issue an executive order on that uh, topic. So uh, understand that's, uh, that's a great uh, and hot topic, uh, hot topic for us. So I think what I'll do is probably do a video on each of those three topics and just kind of circle through uh, those topics as we do this uh, series. Uh, so I'm going to start with a simple just education um, uh, video on terms, uh, AI, ML, generative AI, large language models, that kind of thing. I have a whiteboard over there, but I have a fancier whiteboard upstairs a few uh, floors. So I'm going to go up there and do that, uh, that video, and I'll meet you back here at the end. All right, so I'm just going to do a definition of terms uh, and a really simple Venn uh, diagram. Because right now people are using AI and ML and generative AI and large language models and GPT-4 kind of synonymously. And I thought I would just tease them apart in this few minute uh, video here. So we'll start with the big circle, uh, which is AI. Actually, I'll draw the whole Venn diagram first, and then I'll describe the parts. So a subset of AI is machine learning, uh, and then a kind of machine learning is generative AI. Uh, and a kind of generative AI is um, language-based, so say large language models. Uh, and then a um, kind of large language model, or an example of one, is GPT. Four. Okay, so now to tease these apart, we'll start with AI. So artificial intelligence refers to us teaching computers to do something that we thought only humans could do. Um, so playing chess or generating poems or, or uh, drawing paintings or those kinds of things are driving cars. Those kinds of things are things that we thought were only the domain of humans, but somehow we've taught computers to do. So that's kind of artificial intelligence. And obviously, as we get better at it and we teach computers to do more and more, you know, the, the goalpost kind of moves on this uh, front. But that's kind of the traditional definition of AI. So uh, machine learning is a uh, algorithm technique where we, uh, we can build artificial intelligence by basically learning from data. So you have a table of data or a corpus of text or a bunch of images. Um, and you learn from that in a generic algorithm, uh, and that learning then can be used um, to to act like like uh, like it's intelligent, uh, basically. So the machine is kind of learning from data is the theme of machine learning. So the question you might have is, what is an example of AI that's not machine learning? And an example would be the way we used to teach computers how to play chess. So um, back in deep blue days, we used to do something called a brute force search. Uh, so that would be kind of like the white side has um, 20 moves, something like that. And then the black side is 20 moves. And then the white side, depending on the first move, might have 25 moves. And then the next side. And you kind of build this tree. And we search our way through the tree uh, as quickly as possible using some techniques to figure out what is the best next move in chess. So that's the way, um, that's a version of artificial intelligence that's not learning from data. We don't do as much of this anymore because machine learning has been so effective, uh, but that's, those were the original AI algorithms, things like that. So what would be an example of machine learning that's not generative AI? Uh, so a couple examples would be um, tabular AI. Actually, um, let me, sorry, let me define generative AI first uh, and then come back to that. 
question. So generative AI is basically AI that generates things. So uh, images, uh, music, language, those sorts of things, that kind of AI that generates um, artifacts like, uh, like that uh, is called generative AI. That's the category. So a version of ML that's not generative AI would be like tabular AI. So things in our industry like predicting um, uh, risk of sepsis, predicting readmissions, predicting whether a claim is going to get paid, pre you know, predicting a house price given these features of, uh, of houses. So a lot of AI um, is tabular AI to predict a, a column, basically. You could think about it that way. Um, the other, uh, another one in our industry, of course, is imaging AI. And by imaging AI, I mean the kinds of things we do in, uh, in radiology. Um, let's say, where are we looking at images and trying to detect nodules and, and uh, classify images, segment images, those kinds of uh, things is a branch of AI that's not generating images, um, but it's really analyzing images and, and uh, detecting and finding features in those images. Uh, okay, so now we have generative AI as a subset of machine learning. It's a subset because generative AI uses lots of data to build its models. Okay, a type of model that generative AI uses is a large language model. Uh, and this is basically a model that is built after reading lots and lots of language. Okay? Um, so you might say, what is an example of generative AI that's not a large language model? Um, and uh, probably the most famous one is DALI. Uh, DALI is uh, OpenAI's other model um, where you can type in a caption like, um, uh, you know, show me. Uh, show me a couple giraffes in the style of Klimt or something like that, and it'll create a painting of a couple giraffes in that particular style. So that's generating an image. There are models that generate music, um, uh, and obviously models that generate language. And so what's all the rage now is these large language uh, models. So, um, but it is just a subset of generative uh, AI. And then uh, GPT-4 is an example of a large language model. So that's the the one that sort of, um, uh, well, GPT 3.5 kind of hit the street last uh, late November uh, and has sort of been all the rage. GPT 4 came out uh, since uh, since then, and these are the models from the OpenAI uh, group. Okay, hope that was interesting. Not too uh, not too basic, but I have noticed that people are sort of conflating all those terms. So I thought I'd just get that out of the way at the beginning of this uh, series. So I guess uh, my main question is: Do you have any questions about what I've said? Or do you have any specific topics that you'd like me to talk about next? Thank you very much.